Welcome to another decluttering video, or we're gonna call this a decluttering video. I'm not really sure if it's gonna be a decluttering video, but I just kind of wanted to pull out all of my bags that I had today and see what I have, reorganize them, get rid of some if I need to get rid of any. I don't know if I need to get rid of any because I've done a pretty good job at letting go of the ones that I really don't like and basically just sharing my bag collection with you and explaining why I have certain bags and all that. Cosmetic bags, purses, backpacks, traveling bags, all of that. So I thought we would just go through all of those together vlog style, take a look at all of them and just kind of talk about why I have all of the different bags and things that I have. Okay, we are in my bedroom. If you've never seen my bedroom, this is what it looks like. I'm actually standing right now by the bathroom. So if you have not seen my bedroom before, this is what it looks like right now. It has been redone. Now, the white furniture, we got that from Ikea in, I think it was November or December. Absolutely love it. I think it was November, I think. So that piece over there is my husband's. And then my pieces, I have this one right here. And then this one right here is my main one and it is huge like this was originally going to be my husband's and then it was a lot bigger than he needed so right now i've got bags up here i'm just going to pull everything out as we go through them i've got this bag i've got these here and you guys i thought some of this was organized differently i don't know where the other pieces went lord i don't know so I've got a few things up here, which I don't know why those are even up there. That is why we're going through all of this. That is my hat. Then this right here. Oh, there they are. So look at all this. I want to pull all of this out so we can take a look at it and see what I need, what I don't need. See all of that. So that is where a large portion of my bags are housed, but I don't even know what's in here. I've got my travel pillow in here, so it just all needs to be pulled out, see what I have, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything, but you never know. So we're just going to pull everything out and take a look at it, and then I'm going to take you in the closet and share the rest of it with you. Okay, so this is our closet, and don't mind some of it. Some of it, I just pulled all of this down so that you could see the bags. My husband's dirty clothes it normally sits back there but it looks really good on his side though there's where all my shoes are i just got two pairs of converse so i haven't put those up yet because i've been trying to stretch them out but this right side is my side of the closet so if you walk in i've got bags here i've got some bags here i have got bags this box down here is actually a bag that we need to pull out Got bags down there at the very bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's kind of dark. Yes, right down there. There are bags down there. And then my big pieces of luggage are here. I've got a piece of luggage there. Piece of luggage there. Got a tote back there. This is the backpack I carried at Disney. Oh, I thought something was in it. But it's not. And then my Barrington Gifts tote. So those are all of the pieces that I have in the closet. And then I have the other two pieces that go with this luggage. This is the smallest piece that goes with this luggage. The other two are in this side closet that I'll show you. And this is the other closet that you have seen several times if you've seen some of my videos. And right now we've got Easter baskets sitting in here. Move these. Okay, and there's my two large pieces of luggage that I just got. My hard side luggage. They're, they are the Samsonite Omni hard side luggage set. I got the set of three. I don't think I'm going to pull all of those out and share those with you because really there's... I just got them. I like them. I've only used them one time and so far so good. So I'm not going to pull anything out there. I'm not going to pull out anything basically from this closet. So y'all, all these bags here, those are just extra bags. They're just hanging out in there because as we get closer to Christmas and all of that, they will get pulled out and have presents in them. So they're just hanging out in there right now until it's time for them to be used. Put these Easter baskets in here. So, this closet looks pretty good right now. I must admit. 
So those are all of my luggage pieces. So I think the way that we're gonna do this video is I think I'm just gonna pull everything out from the drawers and the closet and put it on my bed and then just go through it by section. Like here's all of my cosmetic bags, here's all of my pieces of luggage, here's all my backpacks. Explain to you why I have them, if I'm gonna keep them and so forth. So I think that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, that step is done, but I realized that I need to do this in stages. So we're gonna do all of the small stuff first and then I'll bring in the bags, backpacks, and all of that because it won't all fit on the bed. So I've got all the small things on the bed now. We'll talk about those. We get those all organized and put up and then we'll move to the next thing. Okay, we're gonna start this entire thing off with my cosmetic bags here. And let me say this, I have worked really hard the last couple of, couple of years trying to find the perfect cosmetic bag. It does not exist. In my world, it does not exist because it depends on where I'm going, how long I'm staying, am I going by car, am I flying, all of that. So these things right here, all of them have been carefully picked out and I use them. Now this one is brand new, so I'll talk about that in just a second. But this one is probably the one that you've seen the most, so let's talk about it first. This is my little workhorse is what I call it. It goes most places that I travel for beauty and all of that. It is an Everything Mary crafting caddy. But, do you see all these slots in the top? And yes, I have stuff in here from, I think was visiting my sister. Some things I'm like, oh, I'm just going to leave that stuff in there until we travel again. So, I will put my large bottles in here and everything fits. And then, you just take the handles and you carry it. And it's got all of these little side pockets. So over here, I'll put like my makeup brushes. Here, I've got extra contacts. And I'll put my dental floss sticks and all of that in here. I've got enough sides to put, you know, hair ties and bobby pins. You name it. Look, it's got a little pocket here that you can put something. This is an amazing piece right here. I've talked about it several, time, several times. It's made favorites list. It made my 2019 top 10 favorites. Love it. Now, this is the Vera Bradley Clear Cosmetic. I think that's what it's called. This is the TSA approved size. So y'all, I've flown like once in the past like 10 years. So it's not like I fly very often, but this is what I use this for. If I'm gonna use this, normally all of my makeup will fit in this one little organizer right here. And then seriously, I take it and I slide it in the side. Look, it fits perfect because I don't have a ton of makeup. I'm not a big makeup person. If my face wasn't red all the time, I probably wouldn't wear makeup at all. So it slides in there perfectly. So that's how that fits. So that is the first thing. And I'm not decluttering any of this. So this goes in the closet. It's too big to keep down. So I just want to pull it down to share with you. So that one gets used. These over here. If you've been part of this community for any length of time, you know about these two products right here. They are the Lug Trolleys. I absolutely love them. So I use these a lot too. So if I'm not using that there, I'm probably using one of these. Now this is the one I've had the longest. I've got three of these trolleys, if it tells you anything about how much I love them. The third one you probably saw at the beginning is in the closet with Kate's makeup in it. So y'all, it's got all these little compartments on the sides. I just really like it. It's got a trolley sleeve, which is why it's called the trolley. You can slide this over your luggage, perfect. It's wipeable. Every little section has little extra compartments. I mean, that lug has thought about everything. Then I got this one most recently in the fall. <clears throat> if you've not seen my packing video for our Disney vacation we took in December, I'll leave that in a card above. But here's the great thing. I got the trolley set when they had it from QVC. Look, here is the mini trolley. So I got the mini trolley and the regular sauce trolley and I absolutely love this. This was perfect for my makeup for vacation because here's the thing. You can't travel with that on the airplane. So I traveled with both of these on the airplane. This fit all of my makeup and the larger one was like my toiletries and all of that. So absolutely love these two things. 
Now, this right here is my newest purchase. I was going to use it for the first time when we went to Orange Beach and basically this last weekend and we didn't get to go because of all this virus stuff, it got canceled. But when we went to Disney, I realized that I needed a hanging organizer because like there, the rooms we stayed in was Little Mermaid at Art of Animation. If you've not seen that vlog, I'll put that in a card above. You can see the room and all that. I realized I needed something to hang on the little closet beside the sink area. My sister-in-law had two of these and I'm like, oh, that would be amazing. So I invested in one. So this is the Vera Bradley, let me find the little tag. Does it say? Yes. Iconic Hanging Travel Organizer. I did not pay $60 for this. So it originally was $60 and I will leave links to everything. Some might be affiliate links, which means if you click the link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. So this was on sale at Vera Bradley and then I got free shipping and I had a birthday coupon. So I wanna say I paid like 28 for it. So it is huge. It's got this big compartment here. It's got a compartment here, here and here. And then it hangs. And just like Vera Bradley, you can wash it. I've watched Vera Bradley before and it looks brand new. So that is that. I'd planned on sharing a video actually this week over that, but since we didn't get to go on that trip, I didn't get to share it. So then this is my last cosmetic type of piece. And I got this from my mom last year for Christmas and I really didn't intend on it being a cosmetic. I actually wanna use it as like a tech organizer thing but i haven't even used it as that so i'm trying to find a better use for it it is very nice it's barrington gifts if you've ever had anything from them it's an amazing company amazing quality so i'm just not sure how to use it if you've not seen my tech organizer video that i actually use and love i will link that in a card above it's a recent video i shared so my original intent for this, once I found that, just really hasn't been, but I need to find a better use for it because I do love it. So that is my cosmetic items right there. I've got my Everything Mary. I've got this little small Vera Bradley clear traveling case, my Barrington gifts. That's called, oh, I don't know the name of that. I will link it below. The Iconic Hanging Organizer and my Lug Trolleys. I got all of those pieces put away. So I got that one there and these two there. I got the Everything Mary tote put back in the closet and I'm putting that up there right now. I'm not exactly sure if it will stay there, but we will see. I'm thinking the flat stuff may work better up in this drawer. Okay, next let's talk about the small pouches. These I like to use for basically traveling. So when I went to Disney, this is new. This is from, um, so this is Love Designs, I think it is. I got it off Instagram. She made a Kingdom of Cute shirt into bags. How cute is that? So this had pins and things in it. So just for traveling. This actually has Q-tips and Band-Aids and stuff in it. So usually I'll put um, cotton rounds in there as well. And I've had this for years. This I just keep, I was keeping my power bank in it, my old one, but I've got a little pouch for my power bank now. So I just keep this in case I need it or if Kate needs it. This I'm probably going to sell because I've had it and I don't use it. So this is probably gonna get sold. It is Vera Bradley, it is very nice, but I just don't use it, it's neoprene. So that's going to get into the, the um, selling. And then this is basically my feminine product pouch. It's an Erin Condren. I think it came from the seasonal surprise box in fall of like 2018. The inside is so cute. Look how cute the inside is. It's peacock print. So this, I keep all my feminine products in here. There is that key that I was looking for. That was supposed to be Kate's for her birthday. I'll have to give that to her. I did not know where that was. So that is what I keep in there and I just keep it packed. And then if I need to add a few things before I go on a trip, I always carry this, always. So those are all my small pouches. That's the only one I'm going to get rid of. So those will go into that drawer and then we'll move to the next set. 
Okay, those look good in there. So I've got those organized and stacked up. So now we're gonna move to the other luggage pieces. Okay, my neck pillow is here. This I got for Christmas, I think it was last year. Love this, my mom got it for me. Anytime we take a road trip, airplane, anything, I take it. It's got a case and it's got some little earbud things in here if I wanna use it and I think a face mask. Came from Amazon, love it. This is really nice too. Everybody has one in my family. I took this as well. It is a lug. It's called an Agent Bear, Undercover Bear. There it is. Comes in like eight different colors. But here's the great thing. It can be a pillow on a plane or a road trip. And then inside, if you unzip it, it's got a blanket. And then you can actually, it's got a blow up piece in it. So if you wanna use the blanket, there is a little blow up piece that you can blow it up and put it inside so you'll have a pillow and a blanket. So I just absolutely love this. It is soft, it's cute. I love it. I usually take both of these when we travel. Now we're to these over here. So these two things here, you've seen this on my packing videos. I will link those in a card above if I can fit them. So I got this from Amy Small World. I have a set, Anna has a set, my sister, and then Kate has a set. So this was for snacks. There's four pieces in here. You can buy them separately. The small one, I want to say I had uh, pins. The second size, I had like our first aid kit. The next size was food, and then I had my ears and the main one. Love this customized small business. I love to support small businesses. This here is has been used for traveling too as a luggage piece. I got this from Target last year. It's just a pouch that I use for all of my packing. My Eagle Creek packet cubes, y'all have seen those over and over again. I have several others besides this. I'm gonna leave these sitting up here because I know when I pull out this luggage to show you, I think there's some pieces inside of that too. So this is, I wanna say somebody gave this to me because I ordered so much from 31 Gifts and I just put my shoes in it for um, traveling so it's not getting anything dirty. Then this, my mother-in-law got me for Christmas. They are three more packing cubes for suitcases. And the reason why I asked for these is because in case Kate wants to use some or Derek wants to use some, now I have plenty to pass around. So that is Lug, Eagle Creek, Amy Small World, and Target. So I'm gonna get all of that put up and then we'll move to the other two sections. Moving right along to the next section. So I'm gonna leave all of that out until I pull out my big pieces of luggage to see if I can put some of that in there because I just don't use it unless I'm using those big pieces of luggage. So this section, we're in that one. We're gonna go over those together. Then we'll move to the other pieces. So y'all, these are basically all of the wallets that I own. Minus one, my lug tandem wallet that I shared in last month's favorites video is actually in the office because that is the one I'm using currently. So you guys have seen this one, I love it. I will tell you that I would love to add another one of these Disney pieces to my collection. My mom got this for me for my birthday in 2019. I used it all last year every single day and look it still looks brand new so this is the disney sketchbook print and if you shop at shop disney stuff like this comes in and out so you you have to get it when you see it next if you watched my disney haul so anything that it will not let me tag in a card above i will tag in the description this is one of the vera bradley pieces i got when we were at disney it is a crossbody so I don't use bags very often, but I will tell you, I wish you would have gotten the backpack. And when they open back up, I may call and see if they have the backpack because I know Shop Disney has this print on sale. And I would love to use the backpack for my teacher bag next year, but I didn't get it. So this is a little crossbody. This is available online. I will link it below. This I've had for years. It is one of my favorite pieces and it actually came free with something. It's a Vera Bradley wristlet. And I think when I purchased one of the leather backpacks that I don't have anymore, this was an offer that they sent free. I love it. It even has a little dust bag. 
This is my Lug Splits wallet that my husband got me for Christmas. And I plan on using this when I use, you'll see it in a minute, one of the smaller crossbodies or my Vera Bradley um, sling that can be used as a fanny pack. So it's got two little splits wallets in it. It is RFID protected. And then this came with the lanyard that I'm using right now for everyday use. It's the print from, I think, like 2018. Um, anniversary Disney print, if it'll zoom in on it. There we go. The Disney anniversary print. I don't use this, so this I will sell. I just needed the lanyard, but I had to purchase it off Mercari, and it came with the pouch and the lanyard so I don't need the little zipper pouch so I will sell this and y'all that's that is my wallet collection right there that is all I have that's all I feel like I do need I use them and I love them I would like to maybe for a next holiday or something get another one of these to just add to this collection because it it wears so well and I love it now let's get to the extra section here. This needs to go folded up. This is a Risenthal reusable bag. I love the Erin Condren ones. I always have one of these. I have one in my car. This is an extra one I'm not using. I've got this laundry bag. I've got two laundry bags, actually. And this one, here's a funny for you. I thought this was a lot bigger than it was until it came in and it's super small. And then I got this. And then Kate has one. So this could be used for my husband or Derek. And then this could be used for me. This goes to my Barrington Gifts tote in the closet or luggage piece. This is what we attach to some of our luggage for Disney to make it just kind of cute. This I have used for probably six or seven years. It is a Bagalini flat iron case. I love it. It has gotten used. I take it every time I go anywhere. It's heat resistant on the inside. Love this. These are for, I got this in a set of five from Amazon. You can put your headphones on it and in it and attach it to your bag. And then the Erin Condren umbrella that came in the spring surprise box. I want to say last year. So that is all of this. And I will get this put up and in the drawers and then pull out the larger bags. Okay, and I got all of that put up. Mostly all of that fit in this one little thing here. And if you're wondering what this is, this is one of those Room Essentials Why Weave Baskets from Target that are all over my house. It is the small size. So I'll link that in the description below as well. So I've got all of this extra space right here that I'm probably going to put some of my smaller bags that I'm going to share with you in here just so that they're not getting dust and all of that stuff on them. This next set of bags should not be any surprise to any of y'all if you've been part of this community for any length of time. If you followed me on Instagram, you've probably seen these several different times. This is new, so you probably haven't seen this one. This one, my tried and true favorites. This is my La Sports Sack everyday backpack i have had this for probably five years now you guys i take it everywhere love it if you've ever wanted a sports sack piece but you did not know about the quality i can tell you that it's amazing i've used it non-stop for five years and here's the great thing about it it can like fold up you can smash it and shove it into a luggage piece this did go to disney with us and i didn't use it because i had my kingdom of cute backpack but my mom did and she was like this is the most amazing backpack and she's actually getting one for her birthday we picked her out one from amazon i will link that in the description below got it for like half the price that they normally cost and she was like, this has just really saved my back because it is so lightweight. And you can carry it by the top handles or as a backpack. And look at the interior. It's purple. It's so cute. So this is definitely one of my favorites and my go-to bag. This one here is one of probably my newest piece. And the reason I got this, it is the Vera Bradley Mini Sling is because I got this when I got that um, Vera Bradley 
hanging organizer because this little piece here can be taken off it's got an extender on it right now. You can take it off and you can wear it as a fanny pack. So I thought this would be a, a great option for me if I'm vlogging during a trip to just put this on my waist and it's big enough to fit my vlogging stuff in it. And then some cash or that little small splits wallet could fit right in here. So that was my whole reasoning on getting this. It is the fabric they've got two different kinds this is the fabric that's made of the plastic bottles and it is very very nice and it comes in diff different colors as well i got the black so that is why i got that because it can be worn as a fanny pack if so and it's got a little zipper in the back this i have a review video on i'll probably have to link it in the description below because i think i've ran out of cards above the Cavu Rope Sling, and it is the stripe. It reminded me of Erin Condren. I got it last summer. I love it. My sister is a huge Cavu Rope Sling carrier. She's got several. It's got a pocket on this side. It's got a pocket on this side. It's got an interior, and it's got two pockets here. Very comfortable to wear, and this print just was calling my name, so I had to get it. This. And if you can tell, black and like bright, bold colors are like my favorites. I always gravitate to that type of bag. This is my lug carousel. I love it. Look how cute. I wish they would come back out with this print. My sister got this for me two years ago for Christmas. Look at the blue interior. I love it. I think the front is RFID shielded. Pocket here, pocket here, big pocket. It's got a pocket in the back. You can wear it on your belt loops. Love it. And I love the material as well. So that is these four bags. The Lug Carousel. The Cavu Rope Sling. This is the Vera Bradley Mini Sling. And the Le Sport Sack Everyday Backpack. So these are definitely some of my favorites. Confession moment. All of that came out of the front pocket of that backpack right there. I was like, what is in this bag? And all of this was in this bag, which says Disney Store. So that means it's probably been there since, oh, it says February. Oh, since we went to Branson. Yes, we went to Branson in February. That's right. So, yep, it's been there that long. So, these are the next three I wanted to talk about. And I'm kind of hesitant to share these two right here because they're not available anymore. I wish Erin Condren would bring them back. But these are the huge beach totes. So I've got two of them. And I actually use them as my beach totes. They are huge. I got everybody in my family one when she was retiring them. So they are very nice material. Very, very nice. So I've got this one. And then I have this one here. So this is not available anymore. I wish she would bring it back. So, and everybody that uses them loves them. I'm just sad that they're not available anymore because this was one of my favorite products. It was one I was on the fence about. Then when I ordered it, I was like, oh, this is amazing. You guys, it can fit a ton. I mean, it's huge on the inside. So I have two of these. This is the 31 Gifts, some kind of utility tote. I cannot remember the name of it. If I can figure it out, I'll put it on here. But I use this quite often. Like if Derek is going to soccer practice, I will throw like my wallet and my planners in here and just take it to sit in a little fold-out chair while he is at soccer practice. So it does get used. It's the perfect size to just grab and go. Okay, this is the next one. This is my Fry Genuine Leather crossbody that my husband got me for Christmas last year. I think 2018. And I absolutely love it. It is so nice. I cannot remember the name of it. It's, I got the stuffing. Every time I use it, I'll put the stuffing back in there and then put it back in this bag. So if I can figure out the name, the name has like lost me. It's like a saddle bag though. I use it as a crossbody. I'll pop in a picture of me using it. Absolutely love it. So I probably have two nice purses, like really nice, like I would take somewhere you know, out to a nice dinner or something. This is one of them, and I'm gonna share with you the next one. The next one is brand new. I've never used it. 
Just got it like a week ago and I'll share with you why I got it and what goes with it. This is my second nice bag. I just got this. I eyeballed this bag. It's a camera bag from J. Crew. It's called the Signet. No, no, that's not how you pronounce it. It came in several different colors. It is now sold out. They have a different style. But about two weeks ago, I got on there and they had this one on there. It was originally $130. It was marked down to $100 and then they had 30% off of it. And I'm like, they only had a few left. And I'm like, oh, I would really like that bag. I have these bag straps that I've been wanting to use on a bag just like this. I don't have a black bag. So I went ahead and got it. So I guess it's my quarantine happy for myself, I guess you'd say. So it just came in. I have not used it. So here's why I went with this one. I could have gone with something else. But, oh, it's got a little key thing on the side, too. That's cute. Okay, this is removable. The strap is removable. I don't plan on using the strap, so I can take it off. I have three bag straps to go on this bag. This is one of them. So, these came in a set. This one and this one came as a set on Amazon. So, look how cute that is. Like the bag with the multicolored bag strap. I love it. That's how I'm going to use it. I'm not going to use the black strap that's on here. So I've got both of these and then this. How stinking cute. I got this like a month ago. This came from Shop Disney. It was sold out once I saw it. Somebody shared a picture on Instagram. I will pop in the picture. I think Wish Upon a Star. I'm like, I need that bag strap. So I watched and it finally came back in stock early one morning. Look how cute. And I ordered it. So, look how cute that is. And I want to say she had this bag. No, she had the Madewell bag. So, Madewell makes a bag like this. I will link that in the description, too, if you like that better. But look at that. And it straps on. How cute. That is going to be so cute. So, I'm going to pop in her picture so you can see. So, this is my other nice bag. I need to see if I've got a... You know what I may use? I may use this right here to keep this bag in so it keep the dust off of it because I think this is like a dust bag and I'm not using it right now. So I think I'm gonna do that. So those are my two nice bags. I've got the Fry one and this J. Crew one. So you guys, those are basically my purses that I have. So now I'm gonna pull out the totes and share with you the totes. Next are totes. These are the only two totes that I currently have. I have this Barrington Gifts one. And I've had several of you ask me about the quality of the Barrington Gifts. Y'all, I've had this for five years now, I think. I think I got this the May that we moved into this house. And that was May of 2015. So it's 2020. So this is how well it holds up. It looks brand new. So I absolutely love it. It is huge. It can carry a ton of stuff. So it is definitely not a small bag. You can use it as, it would be a great carry-on bag for a flight if you wanted to use it for that. I love that. And then this one I got for Mother's Day 2019. You'll see the duffel in a minute. This is the Disney Magical Blooms print. And I like this too. It does hold a lot. I've used it for travel. I have used this for my work tote several times this year. So, absolutely love this. So, these are the only two totes that I own right now. The Barrington Gifts one and then the Vera Bradley Magical Blooms. And this one I had to get off Mercari because it is currently not available. It is a discontinued print. Next up are backpacks. I have three. My Jan Sport Cool Student Backpack is in the office. I will pop in some pictures here. It was the backpack that I was using for school. Don't think it's gonna be the one I use for school next year. I'd like to do something different since I've used that one for two or three years now. So this is basically my laptop backpack. Anytime that I travel with my laptop, I take this. It is the North Face Reckon backpack. I've had this for about three or four years. Still looks brand new, love it. It's got so many pockets. I don't carry it every day because it is a heavier backpack and there's a lot of compartments and it's really bulky. It's got a very nice padded sleeve in the back for my laptop. I have like a 
16 inch laptop and it does fit in this backpack so it's got this compartment and this compartment and it's just got a lot of details to it so i feel that it's great for travel but just a little bit too much for daily use so i keep that in my closet then you've seen this this is the backpack that i used for disney it will be the backpack that i use if we go back to disney or when we go back to disney it is the kingdom of cute backpack sometimes shop disney has it sometimes they don't if they do have it i will link it and i collect i have them all now that are out i do collect the kingdom of cute pins so i have all the pins that are available that are on this backpack so love this this is not nearly as bulky as this one so those are my three backpacks this kingdom of cute backpack my north face backpack and then the jan sport backpack I think this is the last thing I'm going to talk about and then I want to open this box down here with you because I have not unboxed that yet. All this virus stuff is really throwing me off. So these are my two duffels that I have. I've downsized a lot. I had a lot more than this and I just got to thinking why do I have all these duffel bags? I'm not ever going to use all these. So I have two. Honestly, I very rarely use this one. I may have used it once or twice. It's Barrington Gifts amazing quality it's got my name my initials on the front my husband got this for me i think two christmases ago and i don't use it because i got this one right after it i got that one for christmas and then for mother's day i got this one vera bradley you guys you can cram so much stuff in a vera bradley bag so i've just found it for this to be more beneficial it is the magical blooms large duffel so even though they're roughly about the same size, I can cram so much more in this duffel, the Vera Bradley one, than I can the Barrington Gifts. So amazing quality if you're going for like just an overnight stay, but usually I need something bigger than that. So that's why I usually gravitate towards this one. So Barrington Gifts and Vera Bradley. Uh, I am now sweating. It's kind of hot in here, but I don't want to take my sweatshirt off for this video. I'm still in my pajamas, honestly. I'm not even going to lie. Honesty. Honesty time. I'm still in my pajamas. So, this Dagny Dover bag, it is the medium... What's it called? I forgot the name of it. It is a medium one, though. I'm going to pull it out and share it with you. But let me give you a backstory because, you know, there's always a backstory. Okay, so when we were going to Disney in December, I wanted to have a nice, like, little carry-on bag that could slide on top of my rolling luggage that was going to be used as my carry-on. So this was going to be, like, my personal item. But something happened to where it was going to get here a few days before we left for our trip. And I was going to review it for you guys and share it how I packed it. And something happened to where the box showed up either empty or busted. So I'm thinking somebody stole it in the mail. So like two days before Christmas, they had to send me another one. So I didn't get to use it and I didn't end up receiving it until after my trip. So, I was bummed about it, but I'm like, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that big of a deal. The Landon Carryall Medium in Onyx. So, it is supposed to be a really nice bag. It comes with a dust bag. Does anybody else get disgusted when you pay a ton of money for a bag and they don't put it in a dust bag? I mean, it, it's just really annoying. So, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to pull it kind of out. There we go. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. It's neoprene, I think. Oh, you guys, this is really nice. It's a zipper. And they have all sorts of things. They've got like three or four different sizes of this one, and I don't want to take it out. That is super nice. So once I go on a trip, you know, who knows at this point? When that will be with all of this mess that's going on but when i do get to go on a trip i will definitely share this and how i'm packing it and all of that here's the little sleeve back here oh that's nice you got this little elastic thing so this slides over your bag and i will link 
this in the description below. Anything that I can get like a referral credit for or something, I will link that to below. So if you do make a purchase, I would love it if you'd use my referral link so I could get some credit towards something else. So that is really nice and I love that they put it in a dust bag. So, and I, I, I really do love this. So that is my bag collection. If you have been here since the beginning of this channel, you know that I used to have a huge bag collection and I've slowly for the last couple of years been going through and getting rid of things. And I'm trying to be more mindful of the bags that I do purchase, make sure they're ones that meet my needs, ones that I'm really going to use and love. So everything that you've seen, they're bags that I really like and I've really thought about them and put a lot, put a lot of thought and put a lot of myself into making those purchases. So before I get off here, I do want to turn the camera around and share with you how I have them all organized. So in this top drawer, I have my Vera Bradley iconic hanging organizer and then the um, Amy Small World four piece clear organizers for traveling Disney ones. This main drawer here, I just went through and I cleaned and dusted and I have my lug trolleys and I have my Barrington Gifts cosmetic in the back, my lug carousel, both of my neck pillows fit in here, the laundry bag and the flat iron case from Bagalini. Then here is my Vera Bradley mini sling, and then all of my small things here. My earbud holders, my Vera Bradley cosmetic, all of the wallets and wristlets, and small cosmetics that you saw at the very beginning. So all of that fit in this drawer. You guys, this drawer is huge, honestly. And then my closet. I've done a little bit of organizing in here. It moved that big box, so now the Dagny Dover box is now in the garage i've got it put up so let's start here first so with all of the organizing and decluttering and all of that we have done since we have been social distancing i've had some extra storage pieces to use so that is what i pulled this down from the attic this is from target oh y'all i've had this for probably six years probably so i've got all of my erin condren beach totes in here my cavu rope rope sling I have my LaSport sack backpack and that 31 gifts little small tote in there. And then over here, this is Kate's Cheer Cosmetic. I didn't go through that because you saw what the trolley looks like. Y'all, it has a hair piece and makeup and zip ties and all that. I didn't feel like I needed to go through that. Then up here, I've got my two nice bags. So the Stripe one has my J Crew one that I just got. And then my Fry bag is in the back. So that is that section and I keep all of my bag straps right here. This is an O-Snap bin from 31 Gifts. I have two of them. One of them was Kate's, but she doesn't use it. So I keep headbands in one. And then down here I have all of my bag straps. Then down here, the very bottom, that's my Barrington Gifts duffel, my Vera Bradley Magical Blooms duffel and my North Face backpack. And remember, my Jansport backpack is in the office right now. I probably need to take everything out of it since we're not going back to school until August and then move it in here as well. And then last but not least, this area over here. So those two right there, I need to get rid of those boxes. So that's my Barrington Gifts. I think it's called the Barrington Gifts Saint Anne Tote. Then I have my rain jacket inside of there. I have got my Kingdom of Cute backpack hanging up. Then back there is my Vera Bradley Magical Blooms Tote. I want to say it's called the Vera Tote. And then I put those packing cubes inside of there. My two big luggage pieces. The purple is the Travel Pro Max Light 4 series. And I've got three pieces of that that is the 24 inch rolling suitcase there's my dagny dover uh, medium land and carry all tote and then we've got my samsonite omni hard side luggage three piece set that is the i want to say like the 19 inch piece the other two are in that other closet and that is what this side looks like and that is all of the bags that i have 
And that is my current bag collection and how I have them organized. Anything that is available, I will leave links in the description below. Some of them might be referral links or affiliate links, which means I either get credit to the store or a little bit of commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. So the common question for today is going to be, what is your favorite bag? So if out of all the bags that you own, what is your favorite? Let's get that conversation going in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, Bye, you guys.